behind a village called Mokhlek. At the fingertips of a land called Mukulani is a bush sinking in sand. At the shore is a graveyard floating. In the graveyard, a tomb robbed of the knowledge of a soldier's weight and a decay lurking in a boat, a boat carrying a body's echo and what we called it. Maletisa Ramadzi, husband to Nakedi Watao, a soldier whose names and body separated like organs parted by a grenade. War did not only take him to war, it sank him into the throat of the unknown. And we believed the rumor of his death. The family went to the caves where his last breath was rumored to be. They called out for him by name with a twig full of leaves for his soul to come back home. He was called by name, left the war silence and followed hymns and praises. When they got home, Nakedi had no body to identify but a name. Maletis. Mashole amangwe a tlhobo go aka ditsebe re botswa gore ba ile ra tshepa. We do not need a body to believe that a soldier died. Only a name and the word. His name was put on the maggot's table. We bury names when bodies are not found. War is euphemism for a body's silence. A debt to the floating graves. Nakedi's breath meanders into a casket and a gravestone they share. Below their epitaph is a decay with a half-empty belly.